All right, so I'm keeping up with the uh, looking fresh thing that we're doing here for these videos. Um, hopefully you'll find this to be interesting. I'm going to go with that whole vein of being heavy hearted, I suppose. Um, not quite as heavy as what you guys did, I guess, but just kind of my personal take on everything that you had to say. Um, so just to be clear to start off, I'm totally in support of, you know, gay rights and I totally agree with everything you guys have said, but I just wanted to kind of bring up a couple points that, um, might have gone kind of ignored or just sort of overly generalized. Um, and it's not like me to usually do this, so it's kind of uh, an adventure, so we'll see how it goes. But, um, like I said, I totally agree with what you guys have been saying, and I mean, it's ridiculous that this is even an issue today, and I think hopefully that'll come through with what it is that I bring up. Um, I mean, generally speaking, I think that religions are free to have their own rules and expectations for the people who choose to follow their religion. Um, and I mean, I think that it's something that's been true throughout time, that religions are able to have their own expectations and have their own beliefs. And, you know, I don't think that it's any better for us to sit here and try to mock what these people believe, because clearly they have been widespread beliefs for a significant amount of time. And to make broad generalizations can get offensive um, to some of these people. So, I mean, obviously what they've been doing throughout the course of history has been offensive to a lot of people, and it's not okay to oppress people, and it's not okay to do the terrible things that they do to people and ostracize people the way that they have, especially in today's society in terms of gay rights. But I just want to avoid us doing that to them as well. Um, to me, where the issue or what comes up, though, is when our government, which is supposed to be a separation of church and state, applies these Christian beliefs, these generally just religious beliefs, into <coughs> our law and our government. And um, I think, you know, gay marriage is obviously a very clear representation of that, because for a church to decide that their definition of marriage between a man and a woman is the choice of that church, and it's the choice of that religion to decide that. And it's supposed to the people who follow that religion to believe that, to support that, and that's part of being part of that faith. And I think that, um, you know, for some people, like myself, that's been something that's, you know, the social issues have been, have been a major issue for me, and it's been part of why I've, you know, kind of decided to go my own way with it. Um, but I think that that's, you know, something that those people have to accept going into it. And so, for me, where the issue arises is when these ideas get put into action and into law, because... It's not fair for this religious group or religious sect or whatever it may be to force this upon other people and to eliminate the choices that people have. And to me, that's where the issue comes up. It's not so much that they have this belief, but it's that they use it to oppress other people and that they use it to hurt people outside of their own religion. Because if you disagreed with something that much, you could leave that religion. You wouldn't have to stay involved in it. But to put it onto people who have no control... And to take away the control from people, that's when things become an issue, especially living in the United States, because we're supposed to be founded on freedom and liberties, and that's not, and, and you know, separation of church and state, and that's not happening with things like gay marriage not being allowed. Um, you know, it, allowing people to have freedom is what we're here to do, and I think that churches being able to take that away from people within their own religion is something that the people in that religion knowingly sacrifice. But to take away those freedoms people who are not in that religion is where things aren't okay. Um, for me, the same goes with things like abortion, being pro-life versus pro-choice. Um, if you think about it, that's fine. If, if a religion, if their followers think that something like abortion is murder and that it's not okay, um, then that, if you prescribe to that religion, then that's great. Then that, you know, f power to you, don't have the abortion. But to take the right... To, of that away from someone is again where it starts to cross the line and it starts to hurt people because they're not because they disagree with you and um in general I think that that can really breed ignorance and can just have a lot of other issues that go along with it um so to carry out laws that you know fulfill these self-serving and oppressing ideas of, of various religion is where that line gets crossed um so, I mean, I guess, generally speaking, I think it's just kind of illogical for people to take away the choices of others, and I think that that's not okay. Um, I think it's illogical for it to be a controversial issue. I mean, 
if you support something being a freedom and being a liberty, that doesn't mean that you yourself have to go and use it. It doesn't mean that just because you're a Catholic and you support someone having the right to a gay marriage means that you have to go and do it. Or supporting the right of a person to get an abortion means that you have to go and do it. The idea here is just, you know, allow people to have the opportunity. You don't have to use it. You don't have to go out and get an abortion. You don't have to go out and, you know, be married to a man if you're a man or be married to a woman if you're a woman. It's just simply allowing people to have that option. And it's not implying that you yourself have to use it. So for it to even be an issue doesn't make sense because, again, it's not telling you that you have to do it. It's just giving other people the freedom to do it. So, I mean, in in offering this choice, this option, you're making it so that way no one gets hurt and that everyone can win. So it, it just doesn't make sense is my main issue with it. So, um, I mean, generally speaking... I definitely agree with what you guys are saying. It's it's obviously not okay that people have their rights taken away from them because of something that they can't control and by a group who they don't want to even be a part of. Um, it's a different situation if it's someone who's within this, who says that they are a Catholic and says that they want to have a gay marriage for the Catholic Church to say, well, you can't have that in our church. But it's another thing for the Catholic Church to then go and say, oh, but just kidding, not only can you not have it in our church, you can't have it anywhere. Um, I think that's when lines start to get crossed. So, I mean, generally speaking, I hope this has kind of shed my personal opinion on it and shed a little bit of light into where I'm coming from. And just, I understand that I totally support gay rights and I totally support, you know, everything you guys have been saying. And I just think that, um, I don't know, I have a slightly different perspective on it, but it's all, it's all fighting for the same cause. So, um, I hope that you enjoyed my insight and, um... Yeah, I'll make another video at some point, something entertaining. And, um, yeah, it's been an interesting chat. All right, bye.